Yo, what's up guys, Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you everything that I bring with me on a snowboard trip. Tomorrow, I'm leaving for a three week snowboard trip to Zermatt, Switzerland to snowboard in their terrain park. And so I wanted to share with you guys everything that I bring on the trip from hard goods to accessories to safety gear and also the gear that I use for filming. Hopefully this will give you a good idea of what to bring on your snowboard trips so that you don't forget anything. So there's lots of stuff here, so let's get right into it, starting with the safety gear. My helmet is the Smith Maze helmet. It has MIPS, it's very safe, lightweight, and comfortable. I'm also bringing Burton impact shorts to protect my tailbone. Moving on to accessories, I'm bringing my Anon M4 goggles with two lenses, one for bright conditions and one for cloudy. The mitts I'm bringing are the Crab Grab Punch Mitt, which are like a mid-weight, mitten so good for pretty much all temperatures not too warm or not too cold accessories that keep me warm so i'm bringing stance snowboard socks going to bring three pairs of stance socks also a balaclava this one is oyuki at first the oyuki, oyuki balaclava was a little bit tight but it actually stretched out and now i find it really comfortable highly recommend a face mask just to keep the sun off your neck and the cold and wind outerwear i'm bringing a very lightweight analog jacket this one's a pullover and to keep it very light as well i'm also bringing my volcom gooch stretch gore-tex pants both the jacket and pants are very lightweight, which is perfect for traveling. The boots I'm bringing on the trip are Adidas Sambas. And I like the Adidas Sambas because they're comfortable on my feet. So I tried these on in the store for quite a while to make sure they're comfortable. They've got the traditional laces and they're a mid flex, which is what I like for riding in the terrain park. The bindings I'm bringing are the 2021 Union Strata bindings. So these are brand new and I really like the ankle and toe strap and they're also a mid flex, so good for riding in the park. A few travel accessories I wanted to share with you guys. One is an adapter for your plugs, so this is really important. We're going to Europe, so they're on a totally different plug system, so this simple, easy adapter for plugging stuff in. For the trip, I'm also bringing two pairs of wireless headphones, one over the ear skull candy and one earbud uh, Samsung Galaxy Plus. And for filming snowboard videos, I am bringing the Mavic Air 2. So I just picked this one up and in the Alps in Switzerland, I think I'm gonna get some incredible shots with the Mavic Air 2. So stoked to test that out. I'm also bringing the GoPro Hero 8 Black, which I've been using for, for the last 10 months. And the GoPro 8 has been incredible. My Definitely my go-to camera for filming snowboarding. The GoPro Max 360, so my first snowboard trip with the Max 360 and I think it's gonna help me to get some pretty cool and creative shots. Accessories I'm bringing with the cameras, an extension pole, this one I think goes out to 40 inches. So really important for filming your friends or filming yourself. Also lots of extra batteries. So I have one extra battery for the GoPro Max and I believe six extra batteries for the GoPro 8. And then chargers for everything. Um, what else? I'm also bringing a mini tripod and the GoPro helmet strap. And the snowboard I'm bringing on the trip is the Capita Outsiders Park Snowboard. Haven't had the chance to ride this one yet, so stoked to finally get the chance to ride it in the park at Zermatt. And the way I'm getting all this gear over there is in my Burton snowboard bag. It's got wheels, it's large enough to carry all my gear and some clothes, so the airline allows one bag, so everything is gonna be going into this. And the backpack I'll have with me for snowboarding and for traveling is the Arcteryx Camski backpack. And this is actually larger than I'm used to traveling with. It's a 38 liter, but it's gonna allow me to put some of the gear into my backpack, including my computer and some of the more heavier items so that if there's any chance of me going overweight with my snowboard bag, I can definitely fit some stuff into this backpack. Mm -hmm. 
One more thing I'm bringing on the trip is my Burton base layer. And I've actually looked at the weather forecast and it's supposed to be actually pretty cold. Where I'm snowboarding is gonna be getting around to zero. So having the base layer will allow me to add that extra layer. But it's good if you're doing a snowboard trip, maybe look at the forecast for where you're headed to and then pack the necessary outerwear and clothing so that you can be as warm or as cool as you need to be. Is this everything? All right guys, so I think that's it. If you guys have any questions about this snowboard gear, let me know down in the comments. Also, if I forgot anything, let me know about it in the comments as well. If you guys wanna learn more about this stuff, I'll put links to it in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned because I'll be making snowboard videos from Zermatt, Switzerland for the next three weeks. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you're having fun out there snowboarding and I'll see you in the next one soon.